Hey folks, welcome back to the Bourbon Experience. We are in another episode here of Whiskey Roulette. If you're not familiar with this, it's we are randomly going to pick from our available whiskeys, pour half the bottle into a Glencairn, and then possibly guess, which will be inevitably incorrect, and then figure out if we like it. You were looking at it. You got to do it this blind, man. Here, hold on. You pick for dad. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> okay. So I'll pick for me, and dad, you pick for Alex. Wow. <laughs> no way. I was not. Oh. Oh, yeah. that was fair. <laughs> and there's yours. Oh boy, that. Is... Okay. All right. I'm so, really glad you didn't pick. Like, there's a couple that I'm looking at in there, and I'm like, oh, that does not look like it's going to be decent. I don't know. You never know. And that's true. It could it's just. just are these, no, wait. Are these all bourbons? They are all part of the they, first. It, there is dance. a possibility there may be a particular so Tennessee dry. whiskey. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there could be some. Rough memories in here for you. So, <laughs> so if that, just in case, only pour half of the bottle into it. Now, th this I think is a, a, a bad move because pour half, which means you drink half now and somebody else has to drink half later. Which or is, you. Or or you. Yeah. But if you see the, the white bottles all here, they look white because that's the top half of the bottle. Those are all half bottles, and we'll have to drink those suckers again later. I see. <laughs> I only did, three of I those. I couldn't resist. Only, only three <laughs> of those. I stand corrected in my orthopedic shoes. You, you keep using the horn. I don't think it means what you think it means. You don't I... have any orthopedic shoes, you <laughs> done, old man. Okay. Orthopedic is a term that I got from a disc jockey when we were in Chillicothe, Ohio. He used the term, I stand corrected in my orthopedic shoes all the time. I thought that was the most hilarious term. Isn't the guy had one fan? The guy that? had one fan. <laughs> 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 Oh, the disc jockey? Yeah. yeah. It was me. Yeah. Oh, what was his name? I... What is your name? I told you! It I... doesn't matter what your name is! So let's, uh, oh. and we're all probably drinking different things. It may not, actually, because some of them didn't make it past the first round. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Most of these did not make it past the first round. Now, wait. So, okay. <laughs> there are bourbons in here. Are there Irishes in here? There are a few Irishes. Okay, so when I when I retract my statement from what I was saying earlier, that there were a couple in there that looked like I might not be that interested, they could actually be really nice Irish. Yes, I, I will say because when we, when we did, no, there's no Japanese. They're, okay. They're, for Dad's sake, even though he's never had it before, there's no mellow corn in here. So this is all the same stuff as, as what you were doing for the tournament. The tournament. So he looks on the bottom of this and says, five. Oh, I know what five is. You got five? I got five. You son of a... I go all the way to 11. Very special because if you can see, yeah, the numbers all go to 11. Look, right across the board. Oh. 11, oh, 11, and most 11, and then... Amps go up to 10. Exactly. Apparently I'm seven. We got the whatever that means. I know. Well, we'll find out later. Yeah, we're gonna find out. We're gonna we're find out later on this hand. If I piece smell of paper. this and I feel sick, then I'm going to just be like, "Why did you put seven and seven? That's just not right." No, I'm talking about old number seven going into bottle seven. Oh. That's just not right. <laughs> Especially since you picked it out for me. If this happens to be num old number seven and it's your fault, I'm pouring the rest of it on your head. Boy, that escalated quickly. I mean, that really got out of hand fast. So you're saying that uh, with old number seven, you had a bad experience? I had a bad experience, damn it. Not just one. All right, so we're, 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 we're rolling. Oh, rolling, 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 rolling. So how are, the, how are the legs on here, guys? Mine's, mine's looking runny. 
not bad. Not bad. A little thin, but yeah. Yeah, it's it's sticking. Mine didn't start running right away, but it, 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 it it's it's thin trails. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I'm getting I'm getting the same thing. Oh, that's different than what we've been. So you you so it's not number seven for you. No. Damn. I, I think I might have some proof on mine. What are you getting in those? Have you at, or if you already gone straight to the pallet? I've already I've already knocked one off. <laughs> <laughs> so, there's whiskey. <laughs> what do you got? Um, corn. I, like, I, 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 I say that okay. not jestingly because it's whatever I've got is definitely bourbon, but it seems young. When I put my nose in there, I'm definitely smelling sweeter corn, which is interesting because I don't normally get that whenever I'm drinking a bourbon. You, you probably smell of corn, it's not in here, right? I promise you, it would be, it would not be that color. That's a fair point. So yeah, so, I don't know. So yeah, so this one, like, so I, on the whole nose, I feel like I'm getting proof, but the more I smell it, the less I think there's proof there. That's the same thing I'm getting. No, but that's just gonna happen because your top, your nose is gonna it, adjust, it's adjusting, you know? right? Yeah. But like there, it's kind of bland. Left nostril. A little more complex. All right. So aside from you, yeah, let's take this to the palate. What? Don't like it. You don't like it? This tastes like regret. As in, I regret starting this series. This series is your fault. Uh, it is actually. Uh-huh. You deserve everything you've got. Deserves got nothing to do with it. What? Is, uh, what are you thinking? Pain. <laughs> Pain. Is that bad? Did you get old number seven? No, it's too sweet for old number seven. Okay. Uh, at least as far as I can recall. All right, All right. So, does anyone have any clue <laughs> about what anything? Nathan just spilled on the table? <laughs> <laughs> it's better on there than it is in my mouth. <laughs> you threw some out. This is good whiskey. Or is yours? Do you like yours? Yeah. Is yours good? Well, I wouldn't, wouldn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it's going to be great when we find out that it's his uh, precious uh, uh, white label bottle and bond, Evan Williams. It oh. goes very well. <laughs> uh, it, it, it's very, very definitely not. Mine, mine's thin. Um, yeah, my, I, I I'm thin too. I don't know that I'm going to, I would, I wouldn't put a bottle, I wouldn't put this on the it's rocks really to, and enjoy it. this on a summer day because I feel like it would lose anything that it's got, but it's not terrible. I don't know if I've had this before. Any idea I what would, I wouldn't even put this in an infinity bottle. Even your infinity bottle, which you screwed up before? No, I emptied that on the barrel end. Yeah. Because oh, oh. that was the best use for it. Is this better than what you put on the barrel head? No. No. Mm, yeah, no. <clears throat> um, yeah, I, I mean, I'm going to finish what's in this glass. I really don't want to. I finished one. Yeah. I, I, I'm not getting enough out of this to be able to determine what it is. Um, it's not no. bad. It almost makes me wonder. I mean, it's got my guess is what I've got is a 90 proofer. And that it's one of the baseline of some of the stuff. I, I feel like I have had this before, but maybe before I was actually drinking whiskey to kind of pull it apart. Yeah. Yeah, cause, like for, for mine. It wouldn't surprise me actually if mine is uh, Emily's bottle of bond. Okay. Because I'm I'm just not impressed with it. I never have really been, you know. And, I, and there's not yeah, a lot of flavors in it. Anyway. I don't right. think you would be. Will it? Will it's a good. Will it pot still is a good one. You just, you, you, you just. You and Evan Williams it. bottle and bond I think is a good one. Yeah, now, regular Evan Williams, if that's what's in your glass. <laughs> Yeah, no, well, I, well, I, I don't, I don't, I don't have any Evan Williams Black Label. No? No. Okay. Now, no. it could be 1783. And 1783, initially when I had it at the beginning of all this journey, when I had it in that blind that we did, the oh, yeah, blind, yeah, it so. actually did very well in that blind. Yeah. And since I had finished the bottle, it got progressively... It went so down. you were saying you thought you, there was proof in there. Do you still think there's proof after tasting it? No, no I really don't. Um, I, would be, I would be surprised if mine was a, as... Any more than 90. 
I think we, I think all of us kind of picked something that was hundred or lower. Yes. Mm -hmm. Should we and, find out? Um, yeah, I think we should find out. Let's. Okay. Let's, let's, let's. All right. So, what's your number? Seven. You have drank benchmark eight. Okay. Huh. So that makes a lot of sense. I said it was kind of that low. Benchmark yeah. eight is what? 90? Eighty. Eighty. I think it's eighty proof. Yeah. Here's the honest truth about it. Answer. I want the truth. If you're not much into the higher proofs and stuff like that. It's not bad. It tastes like whiskey. It, uh, like I said when I was smelling it, it comes off as, as corn. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I get, I doubt that right away. It's not anything special, but if you're just trying to sip something, go for it. Right, so what was your number five? Doing? Five? You are drinking Old Forester 86. Is that right? Yeah. See, I, I love Old Forester 86. That's a good... It's, yeah, that's not a bad one. I, 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 I would have really liked to have had a little four yeah. that, that's a good. That's a good daily drinker. It would not be for me. No? No. I, it, I, I didn't think that... I, I didn't really get... I didn't enjoy the taste all that much. I'm not sure I have a good critique of it, but it didn't get me. So this is... I think one of the things that's very interesting about this. So you, you self-admittedly have an, an unsophisticated palate. Uh, yes. And and Old Forester eighty six a year ago when you know when we were really kind of starting to get in some wind yeah. underneath ourselves with this pro product, you actually did. I think eighty Old Forester eighty six I believe was in that blind that I that we had done as a family that I had brought in. Yeah. But Old Forester eighty six though, in comparison to the rest of the Old Forester line, especially the Whiskey Row line, yeah, it it it, it, it just falls very short. In terms of bottom shelf kind of bourbons, Old Forester 86 it, be, it, yeah. Benchmark 8, I'd probably put Old Forester 86 over the Benchmark 8. I would, too. Yeah. In, in, in all honesty. You know, that said, affordability, that, that's got it in price, because I think 86, if I remember right, is about 25 bucks. I could be wrong. If I'm just going for a normal sipping whiskey... Just like not like putting a, putting the ice cube in it and sitting on the porch type of thing. I'm going with the A6. Yeah. See, it's I was upgrade up giving you enough. Or old Forest or 86 to Buffalo Trace. In in that there's, same there's no argument. Buffalo Trace is your baseline. Well, I've got I've got three or four baselines: Buffalo Trace, Evan Williams, and Well Green. Okay. If they if it all fits in that. Category. That's sort of what I want. What? All right. All right. So, what do you got? All right. Number eleven. Are you kidding me? Oh no no okay. Uh, <laughs> you misread it. I thought it. I misread it as Buffalo Trace, which would have pissed me off. Oh man, thank God. <laughs> but I'm right on this one, aren't I? Not. Yeah. No. Yeah. I got shafted well, on this one, didn't I? I'm so happy that was you. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Redemption High Rye, folks. Don't uh, drink it. Uh, Don't so, drink it. <laughs> oh, man. And, and this, this was in that blind that we did. Yes. And I do remember this one. I think it was the bottom. If I, I remember that. I, I will give you credit where credit is due. Outside of my experiences with old number seven, I think this is... Redemption High Rye is probably my least favorite whiskey out there. I would drink Mellow Corn over that any day. But would you drink Smellow? Yeah, there we go. I knew that was coming yes. up. Boy, have you lost your mind, because I'll help you find it. What you looking for? Ain't nobody going to help you out there. Jesus can come through that door, and he's not going to help you. You are out of your tree, no, sir. No, 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 no. Because listen here. This is almost black licorice in a bottle. And I can tell you that for a fact because when I bought a bottle once myself, I was I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna try something new and redemption. I see them on the on the shelf all the time. Let me give that a try. It's on the shelf for a reason, folks. <laughs> if you are not a black licorice fan, steer clear from that. All right, folks. So we've had a good time suffering. Well, I've suffered. <laughs> These guys have been meddling. This has been, been an experiment, and we're going to continue with these experiments. Uh, we look forward to Josh having more of these good times <laughs> with us because 
you know, it's he fun to watch him. It. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun to watch him suffer, folks. But anyway, thank you for watching. Now, if you've got opinions on these ones that we've had, that's great. Pop them in the comments below. But until next time, we'll catch you later. It's for all Bourbon. See you later, folks.